So the worst thing has happened. You got your Shari node and everything was working great. And then all of a sudden, someday, it just doesn't want to, doesn't want to boot. So I got it plugged in. Green light's on. I got no heartbeat, no uh, COS, no PTT. I mean, everything. It's just not working. <laughs> it's been borked. Uh, no doesn't work anymore. So, what happened here is my SD card became corrupted somehow. Either I didn't shut it down properly or something happened. Anyways, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bust out my backup. So this is a backup SD card that I have. And it's an exact copy of what was in here while it was working. So let me pull this guy out and put this one in. So that's the borked one. Here's the good one. Let me slap that guy in there. Let's see if the, my backup works. Looking good. It's different. Here we go. Look, see the green light's coming on. Got my heartbeat coming. Should PTT here soon. Okay, it works. Uh, I'm back up and running. My node's back up. So what I'm going to show you here in the rest of this video is how I made that copy. Because if I didn't make that copy, I would essentially have to come over here to hamvoip.org, download a new image, you know, redo all my configuration, start from scratch, essentially. And what I'm going to show you here in this video is how you can make a copy so you can get back up and running. And what we're going to do is we're going to take, we're going to try to restore this image, the one that's been corrupted. And we're going to take a copy from this, put it on this card. Let's see if we can get it to work. All right, so first thing, um, there's essentially two ways to back up your node. Uh, the one I'm going to show you is not detailed on hamvoyp.org. There is another way. I just want to let you know about it. If you go to the how-tos and you go to how to back up your server, these instructions will show you how to run a backup script uh, within hamvoyp that will uh, copy the essential files, and then you save that somewhere off your node, like on your computer or something like that, and then you re-image a new SD card with a fresh fresh image of HamVOIP and then run the restore script and then I'll restore your node. So that's that's another way I wanted to let you know. The reason I do the SD card uh, copy is because it's really easy because this is a travel node that you were just looking at. So if it becomes corrupted, I'm on the road, I can easily just swap in a new SD card and I'm back up and running. Uh, the other reason I do the SD card is because I have a lot of uh, custom configurations of my node and uh, the script doesn't always pick all those up all those custom configuration pieces so I have to go back in and do it so I just wanted to let you know that that option is available okay so we have our corrupted SD card this is the one that we need to replace we need to make a copy of the one that's working our backup right I um, also need an SD card reader because i got to interface this with my computer. If you have a laptop, sometimes it has a thing in there. Anyways, um, the other thing I'm going to need is I'm going to need some software so I can wipe this SD card. So I want to get everything off of here. I want to wipe, wipe it clean. Now, using the Windows formatter, for some reason, doesn't work. Don't ask me why. But I use this uh, software from the SD association and it's an SD card formatter and what this will do is it'll wipe it completely out so let's go take a look at that I already you can just go through here and download it it's completely free um, download it and install on your machine okay so I got the SD card formatter software installed it's up and running so first thing I'll do is I'll take the corrupted SD card put it into my reader and insert it into my computer 
we go. And it comes up as F drive. Choose what you want to do with it. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, so then I'll just select the F drive because that's the one I just inserted. And we'll just click Format. And it says you want to erase everything on here? Yeah, because it's corrupted. Uh, you can't do anything with it. And it goes pretty quick. So just uh, now this card should show up as just any old regular uh, SD card. You'll be able to see it is blank. There's nothing there. All right, so now we've got a fresh SD card to work with. Let's go uh, create a copy of the working card onto my computer. All right, so now we need to make a copy of the SD card that's on here onto the SD card that we just formatted. All right, so let's take this one out. This is the one we just formatted, so I'm gonna set that aside because we don't need that yet. And I wanna take the one that's in here. So I took the one that's out of the node. This is the one that's working, right? This was my backup. So put that in the reader and we'll insert this into the computer. There we go, and it does the typical, there's a problem with this drive, you need to fix it, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, it's an image file, I know. And if you want to check it to make sure that it is, um, if you go to your, to the device, it'll sort of look like this, where you got a bunch of files, and it's pretty big. Um, so, something like that. So, it looks like an image file to me. <clears throat> okay, so first thing we need to do is we make, uh, we need to read this card and make a copy to our computer. So, what we'll do is first make sure you have the device selected. This is F drive in my particular case. Uh, we'll click the file folder. And I'm going to put this in my downloads folder, and I'm just going to name it my node. Here, let me get it to where you can see this. There you go. Uh, I'm just going to uh, node, uh, what is this? What number is this? Uh, 505592.img. So I'm going to name it node 505592.img. Open. I'm naming the file, and then we'll just click read. And what this will do is it will read the contents of the SD card, the working SD card, and make an image file onto into my downloads folder, which will be named node 505592. And then when it's all done, we'll write it to the new SD card. So I'll be back when this is finished. Okay, that finished up. It took about 13 minutes. We said the read was successful. And I can go look at the file. That was just saved, and there it is, uh, my IMG file. Okay, so at this point, uh, I want to eject the card. This is the known good, so we'll eject that guy, and we'll put in the freshly formatted SD card. Put that one in here. What we'll do is then we'll come over here and select the one that I just made a image of. It was in my downloads folder. Open that and click double check to make sure that the F drive is the one that I actually want to write to. So F, and it is empty. Okay, so we're good. So now we can write. And it says, do you, yeah, you override device? Yes, I know, I wanna do that. And we'll let that go and we'll come back uh, when this is finished up. All right, it said write was successful. So that looks good. Uh, let's go check it real quick. So I'll open up my file manager and we'll just go down to the F drive. And yep, that looks like an image. So it just should have made a copy. So let's eject this and let's make sure it works. So we'll eject that, take the card out of the reader, and we're back over on the node. So remember, this is the one I just made a copy. This was the one that got me back up and running. We just made a copy of this and we should have put it on this, but let's make sure it works first. <clears throat> so we'll put that on there. Oh, stick that in there. And let's get the radio over. Let's see if she works. So we got power. 
Let's see what happens. Looking pretty good so far. Yeah. So there we go. Back up. Should PTT here pretty soon. Do all the old ID stuff. Okay, so that one works just fine, right? So, okay, so let's shut this one down, and then we'll put in the other SD card and see if that one works. The system is going down for hold in 10 seconds. By the way, that was a shutdown uh, command. Uh, mine, I changed mine to star 8.8, um, just to make it easier, but there's a specific DTMF command to do a proper shutdown. Okay, so this one's shut all the way down. Let's try, let's pull out. So this was the one that we just restored, right? So I'm gonna put this, cause this is gonna become my new backup. So put that inside my little holder. Hopefully that, put that for safekeeping. And we'll take the other card, stick that one in there. See, so make sure this one powers up. I'll make sure everything works before I uh, call it good. It's looking good. All right, there we got a got a heartbeat. PDT should be coming up here soon. There we go. Yeah. So it's all back up and running. Um, you know, I got the node back up. I have uh, another SD card that has an exact copy of the image that's on here. So if it happens again, all I got to do is swap in this card and I'm back up and running. And when I get back home later, I can run through this process again and uh, make another copy of it. Now, sometimes uh, it's happened to me every once in a while when I try to use the um, the SD card formatter to format the corrupted card. Uh, sometimes it failed and it didn't work, and it was just a matter of the SD card was just was too far gone. It needed to be replaced, so I just got a new one, and then just reimaged a new card. All right, so hopefully this helped you. Uh, this is how I do it. Um, makes things a lot easier for me because uh, this thing travels around. Uh, the country with me. So it just makes it easier just to slap in a new card. Anyways, have a good one and 7 3.